Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel for another interesting review and another needle by Regis Helles. This one is from Kawas Body in Kirchen and it comes in this uh, Euro bottle shape, uh, which is quite popular bottle shape in all the Germany for many small brewers like this one is a good example of. Um, and uh, yeah, it's the Helles Landbier from the uh, Brauhaus Bodenkirchen, as I mentioned, Bodenkirchen or Helles Landbier, as it's called, looking like this. The front label, Bodenkirchen, Helles Landbier, here's the top label, Bodenkirchen, Helles Landbier, really nice looking label, uh, and here's the back label. And uh, it says right here, Bodenkirchen, Helles Landbier, Brauhaus Bodenkirchen, mild und fein. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna read more from the label later on in the review for you, but always right time for a uh, Helles Langbier from uh, Niederbayern. This is a small brewery. Uh, it was quite hard to get hold of this one actually, but I managed to find it at last, which was uh, very positive because my goal is of course to try beer from, one beer from each Bavarian brewery. Uh, so this one was one step closer to that, so it's of course very positive. Uh, well, I was born in Kirchen in Niederbayern, the Helles Landbier, looking fantastic with its label, in my opinion. Really great looking label, uh, with uh, yeah, giving a quite old impression, in my opinion, I would say. But it looks really nice, typical uh, German style label. So let's start with open up the bottle like that and pour it up into the, uh, for the base style well fitting glass. Always important to use the right type of glass for the bear style that you're viewing from. Uh, like that, then we have it all into the glass. Always positive when I succeed with pouring up everything into the glass. So you can see a nice two finger white foam crown. Uh, looking like this. And very golden in its appearance, which is also very positive of course. Let's get the aroma, which is very fresh. This is how it should uh, have the aroma, this one, and this is how it should look also with, with its very golden appearance and nice two finger white foam crown, which is like a locking the taste in the glass. So it's important to keep the foam uh, all the way through while you're enjoying the beer. Also to build up a foam, and of course, while you're pouring, because it, it uh, unleashes the right aromas from the ingredients of the beer. But I think that's it regarding speaking about it. Now let's get over to the testing part of the review, my favorite part of the review, of the review, of course. So let's give it a try. The Provost Boden Kirchen, Helles Landbier, Post. And it tastes really, really great, of course. Having a fantastic freshness um, and absolutely something very, very positive. Uh, so. This one is a big recommendation. Helles Landbier tasting like a perfect Helles Landbier should taste, in my opinion. Bodenkirchner Helles Landbier, Brauhaus Bodenkirchen. Uh, Bodenkirchner Landbier. Nero Bayerische Privatbrauerei, an 100% unabhängig. Handwerkliches Brauverfahren, Hopfen aus der Hallertau, uh, Getriede aus Bayern. Zutaten Wasser, Gasmals, Hopfen. Hier feine glänzendes untergärisches Lagerbier im klassischen Ein. Maischverfahren hergestellt. Alkoholcontent Stammwürze 11.8% Volume, Alkoholcontent 5.0% Volume Hopfen aus der Hallertau. Getriede Helles Gersmanns verleiht die goldgelbe Farbe und den manzischen Geschmack. Hefe klassische kalte Gärung mit untergärischer Hefe sorgt für einen angenehmen rundigen Geschmack. Hopfen, milde Hopfung. Die Hopfensorten Hallertauer Tradition und Zettnanger erinnern mit dem Duft nach Zitrusfrüchten an eine Blumenweise. Blumenweise, uh, yeah, that's the information on the bottle. Really, really nice tasting one. Uh, there is not so much information on the web, this, on the web uh, about this brewery, but I found one brewery about, um, about uh, I found one website about the brewery which I'll link to in the description box below, so feel free to check out that as well. There's a picture on how the birds looking like and so on. Uh, but it says right there, uh, history about uh, was Bodenkirchen. 1932, year it was founded, 1942, Braugenossenschaft uh, GmbH, 
1949 brauerei Oscar Carlo, 1952 brauerei äh, Rauenecker, 1972 brauerei aus Bodenkirchen. Um, yeah, that's the, the information of this Genossenschaftsbrauerei Bodenkirchen. Um, das Brauerei aus Bodenkirchen was, war bis nun, äh, 1996 aktiv. So, um, it's really, really uh, uh, an interesting brewery and um, very typical for the um, Nido Bayons old brewers, this one. Good example of that. So, uh, Bodenkirchner Helles Landbier is of course a recommendation by a Brauhaus Bodenkirchen. Uh, always interesting when I find this very small brewers in Bavaria that is uh, not having a website, that is not so easy to, to find, but I like that really much. Uh, but yeah, I think that's it for now. Hope you like my movies and see you again in the next Bavarian beer video.